In case it wasn't clear, everything is in fact a mess, and I am increasingly disappointed. My name is Sydney, welcome back to the Thunderdome. But before we get on and do the thing, this video is sponsored by Blinkist, because I guess Surfshark took a holiday this week. Now, we've talked a lot on this channel about the double standards between men and women, because there are oh so many. And most of the time, they revolve around the different treatment of the sexes when it comes to particular social and institutional situations, such as child rearing, the justice system, prison sentences, domestic violence concern and support, and so on. You name it. I probably have a video about it. And if you've been here for a little while, you'll know that my position on these things is largely unchanging. It's not to say that women don't have it harder in particular cases and that men don't have it harder in others. And none of this is supposed to downplay the experiences of particular people. Mainly, and I think this is my primary concern, I want to point out that oftentimes, and I don't know why this is, men get left behind when it comes to these conversations. Or we ignore their experiences altogether. You know, when we aren't laying the majority of blame on them. Instead of telling our girls not to walk through parks, maybe we should be telling our boys not to rape them. Just saying. But I do think we have another great example of this ongoing double standard in the case of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, which has had more developments that you may or may not have heard about, and yes, they are almost as awful as the last ones. I have said this before, but I think it bears repeating. I don't have a tremendous amount of interest in the lives of celebrities as a general rule. With that being said, I do believe that their experiences often start conversations about situations and circumstances that countless other people go through too. Which gives us a brilliant opportunity to have these conversations on a much broader scale. I've already made a video talking about female abusers and did use the Depp Heard case as an example, so if you want more context, I will chuck the link in the description and maybe put the little thing up here if I can work out how to do that. That's because she's an idiot. But a quick overview for those who don't know or who need a refresher, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard were going through an intense divorce and Heard alleges that Depp was violent and abusive with her during their short-lived marriage. Heard alleges that this violence ranged from things like being slapped repeatedly in the face to being kicked in the back on private jets. But over the course of this divorce, it's come out in leaked audio and through depositions that Heard was the perpetrator of violence against Depp in many cases, admitting to several things like punching him, hitting him, or smashing doors into his face. So there's that. Fun stuff. Good times. Also very healthy. Two people with substance abuse problems getting married sounds like a real match made in heaven. Very good. But if you didn't think that things could get any worse, this story has gotten, as the kids call it, spicy. But you want to know what's spicier than two drugged up people finding each other and getting married? Educating yourself so you don't become one of them. Which is why today's video is sponsored by Blinkist. Remember at the start of the year when you said that you wanted to learn something but instead ended up endlessly scrolling through YouTube and watching Riot videos on Twitter? Well, now is your time, because now you have Blinkist. Blinkist is an app that condenses thousands of non-fiction books into digestible 15-minute shorts that you can either read or listen to. Think of it as like a mini podcast, if you will but with, like, less of this. Dude. Or maybe you like that. I don't know. The app is super user-friendly. You can choose from tons of categories like politics or history, or you can search books by name, author, or topic. Personally, I'm very into mythology at the moment, so I smashed through a book about the Greek gods because... Greek mythology is nuts. But I also recommend checking out Bill O'Reilly's Killing Lincoln, which I listened to because... History is also nuts. So the first 100 people to go to Blinkist.com slash Sydney Watson can try it out for one week for free with unlimited access that you can cancel at any time. You'll also get 25% off if you sign up for the full membership. So click the link in the description and give your brain a break from all the Twitter riots. So in the last couple of days, an outlet called Evie reported that Amber Heard is now being paid thousands of dollars to give talks on domestic violence. I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and ask the obvious question here. Are these instructional talks or... <sighs> This is why you get demonetized. Seriously though, this is like the equivalent of paying Jeffrey Epstein to talk about parenting. 
which I guess you can't really do now. I just, I can't with this timeline. The Harry Walker Agency, which I guess is a place where you can book celebrities to talk to you or failed presidential candidates, lists Amber Heard as a keynote speaker, saying that she covers topics like domestic violence and being a survivor. It states that she is an outspoken advocate for women's rights and for the civil rights of survivors of all gender-based violence around the world. It says that she works with organizations that encourage survivors both personally and politically to come forward and reclaim their power. What does it even mean to politically come forward and reclaim your power? Like Christine Blasey Ford style or Skeletor style? I don't know this woman's name. She just looks like Skeletor to me. I am not nice. Or how to destroy a man style? I don't know. I need more context. I'm just... What? And I mean, how far does this extend? Are we talking about survivors like Johnny, who's been, you know, like fired from jobs and ostracized from Hollywood? Are we talking about him reclaiming his power? Asking for a friend. Now, it is obviously undesirable to have someone like Heard operating like this, given her record, but what adds insult to injury is the price tag attached to this. And what is the price tag for her time, you might ask? $33,000, to be exact. So what you're telling me is that I could book Amber Heard to talk to me for $33,000, or I could buy 15,000 packets of salt and vinegar chips. Well, I know what I would pick. I just wanna add here too that I did try to confirm this number because it isn't listed on the website. Apparently it was a quote given to a journalist who wrote the original story, but uh, as of filming this video, no one has gotten back to me, so I can't confirm that number even though it does kind of actually sound accurate to me, but I don't know, like full disclosure and whatever. So sorry about that, I tried my best which I guess is more than we can say about Amber Heard. What makes me laugh about this too is the fact that Heard is listed on the website as a virtual speaker, meaning that she's not even physically going to be at these events. And while I know why that is the case because of the Rona and all of that, something is still so funny to me imagining this woman sitting in her pajama pants in her living room, talking to a group of people via Zoom for 30 grand to talk about being a survivor when she was the one who beat up her husband. Sometimes I'm just convinced we're regressing because what is this? Feminism. Now, the reason why this matters is not because someone is prepared to pay an actress 30 grand to talk about domestic violence when that person has themselves been a perpetrator of domestic violence. It's because for all intents and purposes, considering what we know about Amber Heard, her admissions, the leaked audio we've been able to listen to, the things that she said about Johnny Depp, she has faced zero consequences. Although people have petitioned for her to be fired from Aquaman 2, a movie where she dresses like this, she continues to hold on to that role. She has reportedly been offered parts with other major franchises such as Marvel, and she will be playing a key role in CBS's adaptation of Stephen King's The Stand. Johnny Depp, on the other hand, lost a libel case against the Sun newspaper who described him as a wife beater. The judge in the case allegedly ruled that the allegations were credible. And since then, he's been fired from the Fantastic Beasts franchise. His own indie film was removed from festival lineups, he's lost other significant acting opportunities, and is effectively viewed as radioactive by Hollywood. This is a total aside, but Hollywood is really made up of the biggest hypocrites on earth. The same people who covered for years for Harvey Weinstein are now basically ostracizing a person who has been on the receiving end of domestic violence. And I just cannot reconcile the mentality of these people. Like it's it's honestly shocking to me that anybody would ever hold a celebrity in high esteem considering the kind of things that they do and think and say, and then the contradictions that come out in their actions. These are the people who tell us that they support victims and survivors, and yet at the same time, when someone is proven to have experienced victimization or domestic violence and what have you, they're effectively ignored. What is this? I've said this before and I'm gonna say it again. I have absolutely no interest in the lives of the Hollywood elite. They have no bearing on my existence. Unless, of course, they decide to buy me a Maserati, in which case, maybe they have my attention. Do it! Just 
Do it! But this situation, this case study, unfortunately, reflects the experiences of men the world over, where they have been abused in some capacity by a partner and are effectively ignored. They're either not believed, they're shamed, or we somehow try to minimize their experiences by blaming them alongside the violent partner. Even though Amber Heard is on record admitting to abusing her husband, she continues to go largely unaffected. And now she has a role where she can tell other people about being a survivor despite obviously being an instigator in many cases in her own relationship. I mean, there are audio recordings of her calling Johnny Depp a baby because she punched him in the face and saying nobody would believe him in court because she's a small woman. And this is the person you want talking to you about domestic violence? Really? The fact is, we simply don't know the degree to which violence went on in that relationship. But from what we do know, and what we have heard, and what's been admitted, it's very clear that Amber Heard has culpability in the situation. And despite that culpability, we've effectively turned a blind eye. Depp, on the other hand, has been dealt blow after blow by the same industry that preaches all the time about equality and supporting victims. What they fail to mention is that those victims cannot be men. We know that relationships where domestic violence happens are often marked by both parties participating in that violence. So if that's the case here, then I guess that just reflects the goings on of so many other relationships. But what disturbs me so greatly is the fact that if this is a case where the woman is the primary aggressor and the man is the primary victim, then we are continuing to treat it in the way that we always have. The male victim is is ignored and cast aside, and the woman faces very few consequences for her actions. And honestly, I'm pretty glad that these two don't have any children, because this case would have gotten so much uglier and so much messier if that was the case. I've spoken at length about the way that men are often ignored when they've been victimized, and the double standards between the way that we treat male victims and female victims. And unfortunately, I do think that this Johnny Depp situation completely exemplifies that. And if nothing else, I am constantly disappointed by the way that we treat men who have experienced abuse, especially at the hands of women. Now before I open the floor to all of you, this is just a reminder that you can check out Blinkist using the link in the description. You can try it out for a week using the week free trial, or get 25% off the full membership price. Now I open the floor to all of you, what do you all think? Are men and women treated differently when they have been victimized? Is Johnny Depp being punished by Hollywood for being a victim? Should Amber Heard be giving talks about being a survivor of domestic violence? And what do you generally make of this issue overall? As always, if you like the video, hit subscribe and the thumbs up button. If you want to leave a comment, feel free to do so, just be respectful about it. And I will see you guys next time.